So it seems as though the Naruto Gaiden manga is indeed ending this upcoming Thursday. I mean, we pretty much already had confirmation that it was going to be a volume long. We just didn't know if it was going to be 10 or 11 chapters, something along the lines of that. But apparently this Thursday will be the final chapter of Naruto Gaiden. And honestly, it is once again just a sad thing that this could potentially be the very last time we ever read a Naruto chapter. I mean, granted, I think the way Jump works and everything, they're never going to stop bothering Kishimoto. Just look like, you know, 20, 30 years later, they're still like, hey, Toriyama, can you make more, make more? So, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if at some given point, Kishimoto does do more here or there, maybe special chapters, whatever. I mean, look at Kota Chug getting, after 17 years, a little one-shot manga, whatever. So, it might not be the end of the Naruto verse, and honestly, I really wouldn't be surprised if Studio Periot, after they finish the anime, they do some sort of Naruto Gaiden actual anime. I'm not just referring to the manga adaptation, but like, a whole new Naruto GT, etc., etc., which... In Periot's hands, unless they get a really credible writer, I'm a little bit skeptical as to what the hell they're going to do because, I mean, granted, they do dumb down the filler arcs so that way they don't compete with the actual content or don't downplay the actual content of the story. And also, they could do death. They could do a bunch of different things that they can't do because they can't interrupt the flow of the manga. But nonetheless, I guess at the end of this, I wanted to say, what do you guys want left from the last chapter of Naruto Gaiden. I think there's a bunch of different questions, like my last video, of course. Who is Sadala's true mom? I think we definitely want to find that out. I guess Naruto and Sasuke also need to have that little talk because Sasuke kind of been a little bit sketchy here or there. And, I mean, aside from that, I know Boruto Naruto, the movie, is going to be the last announced canical thing that's going to be basically continuing the story or whatever, so we might get some more answers there. I mean, they introduced Orochimaru. He looks tranny as ever, you know, Orochimaru, whatnot. So I would like to get a little bit more out of him, but I don't think we're really going to get much else aside from maybe Sarada's mom in the final chapter or whatnot. And I guess we'll finally see them graduate and become Genin. Although, in the Boruto Naruto, the movie, we see Boruto wearing the headband with the scratch to it. So what if Boruto actually fails or something or walks out of the actual exam and doesn't become a Ganin. That would be interesting and a great setup as well for Boruto Naruto the movie. Him saying, fuck this whole system. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to change everything. So again, ending sad or whatever. A couple of extra questions. But honestly, being realistic, aside from Sarada's mom, I don't think we're going to get really much else from this actual last chapter. I think they're going to save everything that we're wondering as far as Orochimaru, Taka, etc., etc., in the actual Boruto Naruto the movie. Oh, we might also get Karin, seeing if she's actually dead or alive. They might answer that as well, so we could get that possibly too in the last chapter, I guess. Let me know what you guys think. Any final questions you have that you think might be answered in the Naruto Gaiden Final Chapter 10? And your overall thoughts of this series? Honestly, it has been one of the most entertaining spin-off mangas I personally ever read. I mean, you know, you have the Sinbad no Bulk, and you have those type of manga, and they're cool, and they're really enjoyable and well-written, etc., etc., but there's just something about this that it just kept me on my toes every week, and I mean, you still have what-the-fuck moments with the whole DNA thing with Sarada and whatever, and honestly, that just was the driving force. It should have been called, like, Sarada Uchiha Naruto episode epilogue or something along the lines of that because she really was the driving force of this entire manga and Sarada is probably one of the best females in all of Naruto in only 10 fucking chapters. What do you know? Any overall thoughts? Again, sad, but it had to come to an end. All good things must come to an end. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you can do so as well, that'd be amazing. I'm Fnebworld, and as always, people, have an awesome day.